So I kind of just want to put my two cents out real quick to like my three followers. But, uh, you know, it's election day and everyone's basically saying that if Biden wins that, well, really, I mean, if we're honest, the right isn't going to do anything. They won't be happy about it, but they're not going to go out and burn out buildings and stores and stuff like that. And if Trump wins, then, oh yeah, cities are going to burn, that's for sure, because it's been happening. It's going to keep happening. And I really, like, I'll be honest, I'm not going to vote. It's like, uh, it's like that, the hero in a movie, the bad guy takes his family hostage and he's gives him the ultimatum of who he wants to die, you know, his daughter or the wife, choose. And depending on what movie you're watching, you know, he usually makes a choice or he does something to subvert the bad guy. And I feel like as far as this country is going, we might as well Kaiser associate this motherfucker. I mean, if you've seen the usual suspects, you know what I'm talking about. So I'm just, I'm not going to make that choice. Like they're both pieces of shit. I probably would have voted for Trump, but then he, he he cleared the way for logging in Alaska, and uh, that that pissed me off. So, you know, and Biden, he's just been bought and paid for for a long fucking time. I mean, they both are. You know, Trump's bought and paid for by Sheldon Adelson, which is why he's so beholden to Israel. And, uh... Biden, you know, he's got his deals with a lot of countries, really. He's been all over South America, Asia, and, uh, either way, it's, it's just gonna be what it is. My main point being, to the people that are going out, rioting, burning shit down, why do you guys always burn down, like, gas stations and privately owned businesses and mom and pop stores and shit like that? Like, that's why everyone's able to look at you and say, oh, this is all funded by George Soros, because why wouldn't it be? Why don't you people go burn down some real shit like a fucking bank? Why don't you go burn down the institutions that are the base for the problems in our society? But you don't fucking do that. You don't go out, you don't burn down anything that's a substantial blow to the to the government who really is what you're protesting. You're not protesting average citizens on the right. You know, you're... <laughs> Whether people on the right are protesting, whether people on the left are protesting, you're all protesting the fucking government and the way that they're running shit. None of you like it. No, no, none of us like it. Nobody likes it. You know, maybe some old motherfuckers with their pensions, you know, and the vampire generation who's basically voted all the wealth up to them and left the younger generations to rot. Whatever. My only message is that go burn down something that fucking means something. If you're going to burn something down, I'm not saying, I'm not telling people to burn anything down. Like I said, I'm not voting. I don't give a shit. This country, I can give a fuck. Everyone acts like, oh, America's the greatest country on earth. In some ways it probably is, but in a lot of ways it's not. <clears throat> and if you want to live in that illusion, then go ahead. You know, people with that mindset, people with that faith-based mindset... Y'all love your fucking military so much. A military that does what? Who, who are they beholden to? It's not the people. The people are the ones asking them to go around and start all these wars. And sure, we do it to achieve in resources, but then who moves in? After the military blows a bunch of shit up, Exxon, Mo, you know, Mobile, they move in. The oil companies move in. Pharmaceutical companies. Mine and gem companies. They, they, they're the ones who move in. And they reap all the benefits. The military goes in, blows a bunch of shit up with taxpayer weapons. And then Exxon goes in there, drills up all the oil and sells it to us. Well, if we're the ones who fucking paid to have a whole village blown up so we could get their fucking oil, why isn't it our oil? But it's not. It's not. And that's what's fucking stupid is our, our military that we pay for is used as hitmen so that billionaires can get fucking richer and we don't get shit. They're not, they're not going over there to make it so oil's cheaper for us. They can only drill so much at a time. They drill too much, it's just going to get too cheap, and it's not worth it to sell. Wake the fuck up, man.